No matter which style may be their speciality, dancers are united by a love of their art. And when the Tribangi Dance Theatre celebrated its 30th anniversary this year, performers and choreographers shared in the joy of this achievement. Among them are world-renowned Indian classical dancers Manesh Maharaj and Varushka Patha, who presented a collaborative work that merged the Kathak and Bharatanatyam styles. Zaki attended the event and met up with the distinguished performers. It is a rare privilege to see these renowned dancers performing together as they each specialize in different styles of Indian classical dance. Sri Manesh Maharaj is devoted to Kathak. Manesh. Hi Zakia, nice hello, to meet hello. you. Mwah. <laughs> Manesh, where does your passion and devotion for dance come from? The passion, I think, and the devotion to dance came from the spirit. You know, I was born with it, I believe. And as you grow up, you tend to realize that you're drawn to this art form. You can't explain it. And as a young artist, you believe that you need to set up your career as an artist. But then you look at the plight of art and artists in your country and you decide to do more. And that is when your devotion and passion really kicks in because now you have to do something not just for yourself, but for other artists as well, by creating opportunities for other artists. So the only thing that I can think of when I wake up in the morning is the spirit wanting to dance. How do you create a sense of immediacy with the audience and why is this important? Being a traditionalist when it comes to the art, I'm a firm believer of the classical, which is steeped in tradition. But at the same time, I am a believer of the now. Although the themes might be very traditional and very scriptural orientated, but they can easily connect through the characters and apply it to their day-to-day -day life. How important is it to fill one's potential? I think it is very, very important. And when you do collaborative work, to some degree, it takes you out of your comfort zone. And that is when we really learn, and that's when your potential as an artist really kicks in. You are performing a piece today entitled Dilana. What is the story of this piece? The story basically is a pure dance, which means it's abstract. It is telling the story of rhythm, exploring time and space with intricate rhythms, beautiful designs. Manesh, what are you most excited for about this particular dance? I am excited because it is, on the one hand, out of my comfort zone, because the Tilana belongs to the Bharatanatyam dance repertoire. So you're going to be seeing similarities, you're going to be seeing differences within the same piece from two different classical dance forms, Bharatanatyam from the south of India and Kathak from the north of India. Srimati Varushka Pata has dedicated her talent, energy and devotion as a dancer to the Bharatanatyam style. Her path to becoming an internationally respected artist has entailed many years of study and training, and every minute of practice and performance becomes a spiritual experience. Varushka, how did the collaboration between yourself and Manesh come about? Manesh and I have been working together for almost 15 years now, and it started with just us wanting to share our art, share the opportunity of sharing a holy space and two different styles. Once we actually understood that there's no line or differentiation between Kathak and Bharatnatyam, we both just saw it as art. How important is passion for one's being? In your case, your passion for classical Indian dance. We cannot live without it. Things that I remember about dance makes my heart skip a beat, and that's the passion that drives me. It's my duty, it's my soul's purpose to be an artist and contribute the best that I can to the preservation, the propagation, the standardization of dance, and just giving everybody the opportunity of enjoying the art in the best way that it is possible. The arts will live on forever. It's just the quality of the art is what's important, of what will last forever. Varushka, what is the purpose of the piece Rusili Radha? Rusili Radha is a traditional Marathi poem and it's where Radharani has set the scene for a beautiful day or evening of intimacy with her Lord and just the environment and everything is just so amazing for the moment and she hears Krishna's flute that just entices her and gives her goosebumps and running towards hearing the flute she moves the creepers to see and only to find out that Krishna is with other gopis and she said today it's not acceptable you should leave so Krishna decides to be angry and she said how ridiculous this is my fight 
And because Radha and Krishna are angry, the entire year of Vrindavan and Gokul decides to be angry. The birds decide not to chirp, the blossoms decide not to blossom, and this beautiful sun rays decides that they will not shine today. But who will speak first? That is the question that the poet asks and it's for the audience and everyone to watch and decide who will give in to Krishna's love and mercy. The entire piece is a visual feast. When we look at all of this, the jewelry, the costumes, all play a role in showcasing that this is Radha and this is Krishna. It's really a feast of an experience of an intoxication of love.